Hello everyone, today I'm with Clark who recently came in the top 16 in the recent online Oceania Treasure Cup. How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling really good. Why did you choose VV for this tournament? Yeah, so I, I figured out the matchup. Uh, the meta is really slow at the moment and found that VV like thrives in that slow meta. And yeah, I really like the character VV. That's why I play uh, her in the Treasure Cup. Oh, that's awesome. And um, you went X2 in the Treasure Cup, right? After eight rounds? Yes, that's correct. Do you remember what your matchups were? Uh, yes, so those were Zoro, Bonnie, Carrot, uh, Black Luffy, Black Yellow Luffy, Luchi, Nami, and Luchi again. Nice. And um, which ones were your um, losses, if you remember? My losses were the two Luchis. I would say Luchi one is one of the worst matchups. Right, right. All right. Well, let's just get into it then uh, with your deck list. So um, there's four groups in the deck. The first group is just the uh, counters and the uh, seven warlords. Mm -hmm. So you run uh, four Mihawks, four Croc, three Loss, four Arias, and uh, four Jin base. Cool. Um, so... I figure out the upside of drawing Jinbei into Moria is really high, in which you can take back your 2Ks. Um, I opted this over the utility 2Ks like Otama, Sanji's, or like Gina. So I really like this package in this VV. You opted for so, no searchers as well um, for the Warlord package? Uh, no. I didn't really like the Sengoku searchers. It's a bit too small and just a big uh, units. So three Shanks, three Rayleigh's, three Forces, four Boas, and four Gravity Blades. Mm -hmm. uh, this is what makes uh, Phoebe's really good in the late game because you can just do like Boa or Borsalino or Rayleigh, then use Leader Effect to swing. 8K swing is uh, really good in the late game. Yeah, Silver's really is a really good addition on OPO8. Oh, step. yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. So you're able to remove bodies while being able to rush um, on that same turn, pretty much, when you play these cards, right? Uh, yes, so on, say, turn 8, uh, on an 8 down turn, you can do, like, Boa, uh, choose one count attack and mm. uh, attack with Boa. And just, like, the utility stuff, uh, tree Shuraya, the best red blocker. Tree Pudding, the best blue card. Yep. Uh, for Red Beam and for uh, Zero Cost Counter. So. What did you find like piloting this deck? Like, what is your best starting hand? And did you want to go first or did you want to go second with this kind of deck? You want to go second because mm -hmm. you can uh, draw using the leader effect on the first turn. So essentially, you start with uh, seven hand on turn one. Yeah, the best hand is very matchup dependent. So, mm -hmm. like you want, so this is more like a silver bullet deck where you want, like let's say you want Shanks on, uh, if you're facing Bonnie, or if you want like a Gravity Blade when you're facing like a Black Yellow Luffy. Gotcha. Kind of thing. And for that Luchi matchup, you mentioned that it's your worst matchup. Um, what would you be looking for um, for that kind of game? Probably Rayleigh, because mm -hmm. that's the highest cost I got besides Shanks. Yeah. But I feel like it's a bad matchup where they can, they can just like remove Shanks with no problem. So. Yeah, Because this, this deck relies on board as well. Mm -mm. You of need course, of course. Uh, the big board to stick. Yeah. Um, for this deck, when you play a character, do you usually rush the same turn that you played with them or do you like to build the board first and then start rushing down rushing with characters once you have like two or three on the board with this deck you usually have like tall characters like most of them are 8k yeah yeah so uh you usually play like a porcelino on say turn seven or turn uh like a seven dawn or like a nine dawn turn yeah depending on which turn is it if you can afford the dawn you, you give them rush Gotcha, yeah, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Very cool. So, 
after playing a whole tournament um, with Vivi, would you make any changes to this deck? If the meta stays the same, I wouldn't make any changes per se. I really like the ratios. Like most of them are tree off because uh, you draw so much. Yeah, it's not often like a 10, 11 card hand. True. Oh, that's why you didn't have the Sengoku as well, because you're probably just going to draw into your Warlord's package. Yes, this deck draws too much, and having yeah. 5 life is that's makes you... good for a double yeah. <laughs> color leader. <laughs> Do you find it hard that, like, um, with the black Luffy, that there's not much targets in terms of cost for your blue characters, or it doesn't really matter? I think black Luffy is a bit easier than Luchi, because they, they rely on their character. And sometimes they don't like attach leader, so you can like snipe, mm. snipe a Borsalino or like snipe a Kuzan with gotcha, gotcha. a Borsalino. Or you can snipe a Brook as well. And oh, yeah. uh, this hits Sanji and maybe a Robin sometimes. <laughs> if, if they're not know. attached, right? <laughs> yeah, if they're not attached. Because most of them, they don't, they don't run the stage anymore. So. I didn't really expect that um, Warlord's package, to be honest, um, in this VV deck, so it's pretty pretty cool to see. I think it's, yeah, I think it's a better package than the uh, Otama Marco package. Otama Sanji, Gina, Marco. Uh, Just that, like a the utility blue, blue red kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. Just upside is really high. On the, yeah, because you can, this, you can get to build board so much with Jinpei. Yeah, and since your leader can't attack, you need some presence, I guess. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Cool. Well, what the, what's the most favorable matchup for Vivi? I like Bonnie and Nami. Nami? Oh, because you can build a big board? Oh, and the pudding helps as yeah. well, I guess. So, in the round 7, I'm against a Nami. I just built, like, two Shanks board and, like, oh, a geez. Porcelino and a... Boa, I didn't attack him until like turn eight. Yeah, yeah. But, but then I just drop a pudding and start like. <laughs> yeah, pudding is very painful for them, eh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, especially if you're not attacking, because then like they just they're drawing cards, and they're not they're not getting rid of anything. Yeah, and I'm. They can't really starve me because I'm self-sustaining. I said I can draw two cards every turn. Yeah, of course. Awesome. Well, thank you very much, Clark. Congratulations. Um, do you want to make any shout outs or any last words? Uh, shout out to my locals in Cairns, uh, Queensland. So the Wicked Goblin. Um, yeah, it's been very fun to play this leader. Uh, hopefully there's other topping lists as well. Yeah. Yeah, it's really great to see uh, off meta deck, especially Vivi, um, make it to the top 16. Um, for you know, a pretty competitive um, landscape in Oceania, to be honest. Yeah, that's true. Cool. Well, thank you very much, Clark. We'll hope to see you again. Thanks.